All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the depths after nursing school. So if you're interested in knowing how much nursing school will cost you, um, stay tuned because I will show you how much it costed me. Hi everyone, my name is Dali. If you're new here and welcome, I make videos about nurse life, nursing, nursing, and more nursing. If that interests you, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel. Without further ado, let's just dive into this video. All right, so today I'm gonna be talking about Debs. Debs after nursing school. Okay, yeah, nursing school, right? The fun, the fun in nursing school. All right, so if you have been following along, you know that I was an OPN before becoming an RN, and um, I did my RN through Excelsior College. So I went into like getting my RN without any depths. I had no depths whatsoever when I did my OPN. Um, I believe it costed me $14,000 or $12,000, and all I had to pay out of my pocket was $2,000. It was such a blessing. Um, all I paid was $2,000 and everything else was paid for and I had no debts, like no debts for my OPN. Then I went into getting my RN. When I got my RN, I um, I got debts. That's when I started my, my student you know, loans and everything. So I wanna like break, I'm sorry, I have my little notes here. So I wanna break it down to you. How much was my LP, not, I'm sorry, how much was my RN? And when I got my master's degree, how much that was, okay? So my RN, I did it through Excelsior College. Um, and for my RN, it was just my associates in, in nursing. It costed me seven, $17,608. I had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loans, seven student loans. And most of them were like $3,000, $4,000, $1,000, $2,000 um 3000 like that was like the range of how much each loan was um and the whole total of the of my RN came up to being $17,000 I also want to mention that I also got grants in grants like the total grants that I received was $32,868 so some people may just have to do student loans other people are welcome and are able to do grants and student loans which that was my case so i was able to use like have grants and for the most part that was from all my prereqs um i did all my prereqs in a community college um like a local community college and there everything was paid for that was everything was grants so i didn't have to pay not even a dime when i did my um prereqs and I also got some grants in um, Excelsior. And I think also with Capella, I had a couple of grants as well. So all the total in for the grants was $32,868, right? All right, so let's go back to Excelsior College. Like I said, it was $17,608 that that's student loans. Not that, that that's how much the degree was. Because, like I said, I also got a couple of grants. Um, but still, $17,000 is not that bad, right? For a whole, like, you know, RN degree. Then, let's jump into getting my master's degree. Um, then I got my master's degree, and that was a little bit more pricey. When I got my master's degree, I literally had just three, three, that was it. No more than that, three loans. And the total for getting my master's degree drum roll please Ring. $47,523 yep that's how much I owe that's only for the um for getting my master's degree that I'm not really doing anything with at this moment beside the point <laughs> that's besides the point $47,523 the total amount that I owe for all my loans is seven sorry sixty five thousand hundred and thirty one thousand dollars that I gotta pay back for wanting to further my education and become a 
master degree nursing student. Oh wait, I'm not a student no more. But when I was a student, right? Because that's how much I gotta pay now. So to have a master's degree, I now have this big old debt that I gotta pay. That is sixty-five thousand one hundred and thirty-one dollars. Um, which is still not that super crazy bad compared to I. I know there's like many other like. All right, if I had to pay for my LPN. I, I know people I know like people that 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 actually had student loans for the LPNs and that uh, are still paying for the LPN degrees so if I had to pay for my LPN degree and I had to pay for my RN and I had to pay for my master's degree my loans right now would have been over a hundred thousand dollars over a hundred thousand dollars and um, I want to say that I am blessed that it's only $65,000 um, compared to what it could have been, you know, but it's still a big number. Um, there is still that out there that they're trying to do this Biden thing. Um, I think he's trying to get $20,000. Like that's, that will be the max amount that they can remove from your student loans, which is, which is $20,000. I hope I get that because at least that will be $20,000 less. And then I'll I'll be paying what like forty something. But um to break it down for my first round and another thing I want to mention is that I also when I was getting the loans I was getting the max amount that I could get. So I also had a couple of like dollars left over and I would just use that towards whatever <laughs> like towards me. Um so and I think it was like two thousand dollars and change. Um, every every um, loan and I like I said I had three loans for this the master's degree um, the first one was $19,000 that's a lot the second one was 18000 and then the last one was 10000 which was still a lot um, I'm not sure how why or how why it was so much it was a lot like to me it was a I didn't think it was gonna be that much but whatever um, yeah I know trying to be good and do the right thing it's it's pricey and it's a lot of work but you got this so the grand total with the grants and the loans that I still got to pay for is 97,999 so that's the grand total with the grants like the free money that you get and with the loans I also want to mention that I had two types types of loans I have subsidized loans and unsubsidized loans and what the heck is that right because <laughs> I had the same question I was like what's the difference so what is it so let me tell you subsidized loans I only have seven thousand five hundred and sixty two dollars in subsidized loans these loans have no interest so in the time that you're in school and if you are indifferent deferment um you have there's no interest so it will not be collecting interest and it's mostly for undergraduate or no it's only for undergraduates um students so that applied for my my rn but once i started going into my um master's degree which is an, an actual graduate um degree that's when i started having to use the unsubsidized uh, loans and with the unsubsid unsubsidized loans I owe fifty seven thousand five hundred and sixty nine okay so this one is for both undergraduate and graduate students and is not based on financial needs so for the unsubsid so for the subsidized they base it on financial needs as well but this one they don't for so for the most part like if you're getting a graduate degree you will be getting an unsubsidized unsubsidized loan so that's pretty much it that's how much I owe in student loans and um, if you're wanting to become a nurse if you're here watching this video you're either wanting to become a nurse or you are already a nurse and are wanting to further your education I just want to say do it why not you know further your education but also have a plan also have a plan also know why you're doing that 
like right now like i said i got my master's degree and i'm going through this phase where i am completely unsure of what i want to do with my life what I want to do with my degree, what I want to do. I, I have no idea what I want to do. I literally have zero idea of what I want to do with my degree. I feel like I owe all this money and um, for basically no reason. Like, I don't, <laughs> I feel like I didn't really need it to get a master's degree because I don't want to really do nothing with it, you know, which is, crazy to say out loud i think it all the time but it's crazy to say it out loud but that's how i've been feeling and i know i'm going through something that is making me feel that way but um that's a whole nother video i guess you were you came here for this the depths this is how much i have to pay back sixty five thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars so if you want to become an rn you may have a loan you may have student loans that will be seventeen thousand dollars you may not because it, it was it was more i just ended up having to pay that's it that's all i had to pay because i also had grants it may be 20 something it may be 30 something like it all depends on your situation and uh, what they you know you're, you're approved for but this is what i have to pay back okay um I will see you on my next video if you want to stick around and if you want to be here some more I I want you to be here and I want to make more videos and I want to be more here um will I I don't know but I'm here right now and um all I want to say is I will see you guys on my next video bye